Hello and welcome to a new week. I'm super excited about this vlog. Say hello, Tim. The, hello, Tim. The star of the <laughs> vlog last week. This week, <laughs> give, us, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> two thumbs up. Oh, God. Okay, there's two already. Let's see how many Tim can get in this week. Stop it. <laughs> so uh, this week I am doing some yin yoga teacher training and one of the favorite vlogs that I ever did. Look how dark it is. Oh my God, it's been raining here for like 10, okay, probably not 10 days, but at least five days straight. We're in rainy season here in Victoria. But as I was saying, one of the most favorite vlogs that I've ever done was when I actually vlogged and did a video journal of my experience of a meditation intensive that I did here in Victoria, BC, because then I had a, a record of it. And so that's what I'm doing this week. And I am doing a yin yoga teacher training this weekend and I'm gonna vlog my experience of it. So leading up to the yin yoga teacher training, I've been practicing a lot of yin yoga and just seeing what it feels like in my body. So I've been noticing uh, the experience of the pulling of the tissues and the pressure of the tissues on my body and more than that, the, the rebound effect of it. And then also I've been really noticing the shifts in the energy of my body. So I'm interested to hear about the teachings on that so I can be really clear on the teachings on that when I go to teach it. And that's what I'm most interested in as I go into this teacher training. And so I'm heading out on this rainy day for teacher training. Very, looking, very much looking forward to these three days. And I will check in after my first day. Okay, so it is probably close to six o'clock now, the end of my first day of this weekend of yin yoga teacher training. And I'm here in Beacon Hill Park. I just went to Cook Street Village and picked up some things for dinner. I'm gonna go home and cook them. Just, there's my little pile over there <laughs> of food. And so I thought I would just share with you my thoughts on the first day. Ooh, it's dark. There we go. <laughs> um, so, so interesting. Those of you who've done teacher training have probably attested to this. You go for your students and then you always, I, my experience is that I receive so much for myself. And so with the yin yoga teacher training, you know, I had really specific uh, questions about anatomy and tissues. I think I even spoke about it at the beginning and pressure and pulling on the tissues. And I received so much about the philosophy of yin and yang. And I, you know, I feel, I, I feel like I went in knowing so much about that all the way already. And yet um, I came out of it receiving so much more about it and having such clarity and aspiration around that as well. So I feel like, um, you know, my practice, my own personal practice is very yin focused. You know, I do a lot of restorative yoga practice. I do a lot of yin practice. I do a lot of sitting meditation. And so it's very yin in nature, but my life is quite young. It's very up and out. Um, I spend a lot of time on the computer just by the nature of what I do because my, my work is online. And it's, you know, we start very early in the morning. I'm on the computer most days by 7.30 in the morning. And some nights I'm on the computer still, uh, you know, I'm embarrassed to say until nine at night. And so, um, you know, my big takeaway was that that balance needs to be just not between life and practice, like bringing balance in through my practice, but that my whole life needs to be fluid like that, that there can be, there can be those young points in my life, but that there needs to be that balance too in my life. And so I spent a lot of time reflecting on that today in the course of the practice of, you know, things like things that I've been had better balance with, in the past, just I'm not in a cycle of balance right now. You know, taking lunches, taking times out to go for hikes, turning, you know, treating my work like a job and turning the computer off at five o'clock, things like that. So that was my big takeaway today, 
bringing more yin into my life, surrendering more in my life. And yeah, you know, Carly has this great saying, and by the way, it was great to be with Carly again and in that feminine energy as a, with a teacher again. And she has this great saying that I have that I put in artwork in my, in my house. It says, may I accept the mysterious unfolding of my life. So that was a big uh, yielding, surrendering, receiving and balancing that yin energy more. So time to go home, make some dinner, and looking forward to day two. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, and I am walking to Oak Bay this morning, and I am being a wimp. <laughs> well, actually, I am probably being smart <laughs> because the winds are 70 to 90 kilometers an hour this morning, and we are getting 50 to 70 millimeters of rain, so high winds, lots of rain, and I just didn't think you'd probably be able to hear me <laughs> outside today. So instead of Tim getting annoyed with me, I thought I would film my little opening here of the day inside the apartment before I left. So uh, looking forward to today, had a nice, gentle, easy morning, did some meditation, I did some studying for my course and wrote up my answer for a question that I have due tomorrow. Nice, easy uh, breakfast and I had a nice warm bath because it's so cold, chill you to the bone this morning and I want it to be warm before I go out in this. This is a winter storm here really for Victoria. So before I go out in this winter storm, I'm all tucked up in my scarf and a nice warm sweater and I'm, I'm looking forward to walking actually, even though it's gonna be in the wind. Um, because yin yoga is all on the ground, it's good to, to move and to use those yang muscles, get those muscles moving and get some muscle movement going before I spend the whole day kind of lying around on the ground and sitting on the ground. So interested to see how things unfold today and I will report back at the end of the day. Good morning. It is Sunday morning and I did not check in with you last night because I was completely exhausted physically and mentally at the end of my day yesterday and so I came home and had dinner and just basically went to bed after that. And I think that is part of me just trusting myself and doing what I said I was going to do uh, as a result of doing this training, which is respecting and honoring the energy and the cycles. And instead of pushing through and making sure I filmed a little clip for you about my day, <laughs> I just made sure I got the rest that I needed. And that's really what yin yoga is all about, is honoring the cycles and not always pushing, 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 and going, 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 but making sure we take that time to nourish ourselves and restore our energy. And we do that in a yin class. And so I did that last night, and then I did that this morning when I got up. I took extra time for my practice today to make sure that I got what I needed. What I've been finding recently, because I'm also in a, a an extended meditation course right now. Uh, many of you know about, I'm taking the Mahayana course with Dharma Ocean right now. And I'm finding the meditations very confronting emotionally, um, energetically, and uh, they're leaving me feeling very uprooted and very ungrounded, which is quite common at this time of year too, from an Ayurvedic perspective to be quite anxious with all the wind. And for my constitution, which is quite vata anyway. So I've got a lot working against me there. And what I'm finding is that these practices are adding to that as well. The practices that we're required to do for the course. And so uh, through the process of stepping into this yin training course and realizing that I need balance, a lot of balance, I realized that the only person that's going to create that for me is me. And so what I did this morning was I took the time to do the practices that I need to feel rooted and grounded and safe this morning. I did some meditation practices that really let me come into my body and into the earth before I did the required meditation practices for the course. And it, it worked really well for me. I felt really safe 
and and grounded when I came to the required meditation practice and I was able to really be with it and sustain it in a way that I haven't for the last little while. So that was my morning. Now I'm off to the yin training. It was quite technical yesterday. We talked a lot about the joints and the tissues and connective tissue and fl synovial fluid and all the meridians. And, and she really, uh, Carly really pushed us hard in a, a quite a technical mental way yesterday. So I think she's going to speak a lot about mindfulness today, which, you know, the, the, that is really an area that I'm quite comfortable in, but it is quite intense. It's a lot of information in a short period of time, so I'm sure I'll be quite exhausted again. I've got dinner in the crock pot, so that's taken care of. One less thing to think of when I get home. But uh, I am really enjoying being immersed, and it reminds me of the importance as a teacher to um, immerse myself in training because, um, yeah, I, I do that with meditation, but I haven't been doing it as much with yoga. So, uh, yeah, that's been a takeaway as well this week. So I'm off to get on the bus. As you notice, I'm filming inside again. It is, we're, this winter storm just keeps giving. It's raining outside and it's windy again. And it was a long walk to Oak Bay yesterday. It took me about an hour in the wind and the rain. And uh, Trinity gave me a... Uh, a, a little lesson on how to take the bus. <laughs> so that should be a lot easier today. All right, I'm off to training again. It's Sunday night and I am all done the teacher training and I am so excited to be able to bring these teachings to you. I think they're so necessary. We need so much more balance in our lives. We're living with so much yang energy, that do, 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 that go, 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 that achieve, that accumulate. And I think bringing in way more of the yin energy, that slowing down, that resting, that restoring, that nourishing is just so necessary and needed in our lives right now. And so I'm just so grateful and thankful to have been able to receive those teachings and to be able to pass them on to you. I think it's a very natural integration for me. I don't think that people are going to find it out of left field for me to be teaching this way at all. But the big takeaway for me was that, you know, I bring this into my teachings and into my meditation practice. And what I realized over the course of the weekend is that this balance needs to come into my whole life. And so I'm going home to do that right now because it's Sunday night and Outlander's on and it's time to sit on the couch and watch Jamie. <laughs> so that's what we're going to go do. I've got my dinner already in the crock pot and it's time to just cozy up on the couch. It's fall here and get in those blankets and, and enjoy the rest of my weekend. So I look forward to seeing you next week and all of those of you who are in meditation class on Monday. I'll see you there and bye from Victoria for now if you like the video give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for a new vlog every single Monday so bye from beautiful Victoria BC